welcome back. Uh, this is just like a quick synopsis of what I've been really up to this entire game. Uh, my game, actually, I am playing my kind of like offline type of game, family. Uh, this is actually, I haven't changed their name, but this is technically the Robo family. And right here is Kiera Robber. Her name, this is the sim I started off with. Is she a beauty? She's currently a, a adult now. She has two children. She has one, Daniela, who is currently at school. And then she has a little smaller one, where is Deacon. And this is her little, her little chum baby right here. And then her husband is also at work currently. So, Daniela, I mean, Kiera, I'm sorry. Kiera is one of those sims who is just, she always been like chill all her life. But she wanted to branch out and she's lived in a few places. She started in Willow Creek and then moved out to uh, Windenburg for a bit. And that's how she found her boyfriend. Well, that's how she found one of her love interests. One of her love interests was actually... Uh, one of her love interests was actually... Uh, Dominic. And she was like so in love. And she really was like head over heels for him. She really wanted to have a child with him. But she didn't know that he was married, so she actually broke it off with him so he could stay happily married. And she still kept her daughter, which is Danielle Trotter, and she just got married recently to her husband, Hector Roper, and they had a little boy who was Deacon. So this is her small little family tree currently. And... I don't think she really wants any more. She has been really over the top and heavily tired recently. So doing anything without it would just like, you know, make her extremely exhausted. So I wouldn't expect her to actually feel like doing anything or really doing anything Anyway, so I make her take a bubble bath because she is over here stinking up a funk. Uh, and then we're going to check on our little baby boy who is probably knocked out by now. He's so cute. I haven't changed much from this. I forgot. I got this house off of the, the origin space. So I can't remember who actually get or ha who actually made it, but I enjoy it. And it's so cute, and he's just the cutest thing. He's just so precious. I love him so much. I don't know why my camera wants to act this way, y'all. But, uh, <laughs> he's just a precious little thing. That was our maid probably just leaving, so I'm not surprised. Uh, it's our baby boy, and he just aged up recently. So... We're right now just taking care of ourselves and everything, so hopefully, well, hopefully a fire won't start either, so that we can warm ourselves afterwards and then like possibly get something and watch a movie before we actually go out as a family, you know? Because so it's something that they don't do often. Oh uh, look, and here comes Dominic. So, so, hey, Kiera, it's Dominic. Do you want to hang out tonight? Uh, no, no, Dominic. Thank you, though. Like, like I said, they, they left on good terms, but at the same time, she don't feel like really just messing around anymore. Uh, she found her happy spot, and her happy spot is with, you know, it's, it's with Hector, and... And she enjoys her little family. She don't want it to be ruined by really anybody. Um, I know her birthday is coming up soon. It's about three days away. And that also means that 
that uh, her birthday is going to be on a Monday, but then her baby's age is up on Wednesday as well. So I'm excited for that, and I hope that they actually, like, you know, uh, we probably will take the day off just to celebrate both of them because her baby girl is actually going to turn into a teenager and her baby boy is going to be a whole child and it's going to be exciting because we go see them age up and I'll probably do like a quick, quick, oh wait, okay, vlog incident. A volunteer working with Hector calls to say... A fallen tree is blocking the access to an important trail. It's probably small enough that a bit of rope and leverage can get it out the way, but they wanted to get his advice. Should the volunteers try to move the tree themselves, or should a professional be called? Uh, I feel like they should call the logging service, because you don't know what actually could be happening, and you don't want that actually, you know, injuring somebody, so he's going to call the logging service. Okay, the logging company called back a few hours later saying the job was bigger than expected and of course more expensive. At least it's done with. Oh well. But at least in, at least nobody got hurt in the process. Oh, who's calling? Who is calling? Turn the cheat around. A teacher called Daniela looking at another student's test during class and sent her to the office. Oh no. Uh I should. Would Kiara say, I'm sure it was a mistake, or let her retake the test? Um, let her retake the test. And she'd be like, it's okay, just let her retake it. Just give her different questions, you know. That shindig, I mean, it's okay. I mean, Georgia does that all the time. <clears throat> oh, she met Christian while at school. Interesting. He's not even at school. How you meet him at school if he's not even at school? Whatever. Whatever, you guys. But yeah, um, this family is very interesting, but I love them to bits. I can't wait to see them age up, though. It's something that I've been, like, excited for, for a bit, and I hope to be able to just show you guys. Probably do, like, an update every blue moon on them. And hopefully y'all be able to come along with me because. <laughs> oh, what is this night on the town? This is pretty local businesses want to show some customer appreciation by offering free food and drinks. It's time to get out the house and visit a venue. Oh, so probably Kiara should probably, we might call a child, but. We ain't gonna leave him by himself. Uh, we're probably just gonna go somewhere fun. Um, we could go to Studio PBP, or we could go to Orchard Go Go, which is an upcoming hot spot. Um, we could we're go to Orchard Go Go. Since that'll be somewhere really exciting to go, we we'll just go with Kiara. Oh, I guess we brought our, our child. We, we, we brought our child with us, so I guess he's coming too. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Well, he can't really do anything here. So, what is wrong with him? He's hungry. Okay, so what are we going to do? She's hungry as well. We're going to order food. Oh, we'll order some Kurtzwurst. That sounds really good. Kurtzwurst. Okay. So we're going to go up there. And we're going to hurry up over there so that we can spend some time. Probably have some of that. Oh, well, don't eat that. I'll let your son get that, actually. I don't let him come and eat Kurt worse so he can experience something new. And then we're going to ask for another food and we're going to ask for fish and chips. Since we're not paying for it and it's free. But yeah, I mean, if you, you can't if you can't find a babysitter, just bring your child with you, am I right? Okay. It's the weekend. Daniel wraps up this week. Wraps? Wraps up this week with a C. 
in school is it really satisfactory? I mean, it is. I guess she could come here too. Just bring Juliana here. I mean, but I feel like she should have gotten. No. She got one skill to level two. What are your skills, baby girl? Oh, well. Okay, well, I'm going to have to cut this short, guys. But I hope that you be able to see more of this little family soon. I love Kiara and her little children. And I will actually give you guys more of an update with them, you know. As time goes on, I mean, who doesn't love these little cuties, especially little Daniela right here. She looks so much like her dad, though, so it's beyond me, but I'll just talk to you guys later. Goodbye!